So in the previous recording I showed you the templating and that introduced you to some of those page elements. I'm going to expand on that a little now and show you how you can add additional elements, take them away, nest them so you can have elements inside elements if that's necessary. In addition to the site files window there's also an assets window. Now that might be in a different position for you depending on how you have your Dreamweaver set up and within that this is notion of a library. And here we've got a whole range of features that you'll have recognized perhaps as we've gone through that you can add into a page. Now, for instance, I might decide now that I really do need a video um, box in here. I could, of course, go to another page, copy that out and put it back in. But there's a slightly quicker way by inserting these library items. So, for instance, I might choose the watch and do item and drag that to, onto the page where I want it to live. That will place it there. At the moment it's not editable but we can easily make it so by hitting this detach from original and then we can edit it as we normally are. So it's put a little video box in for us. Indeed, and this is getting a little bit cheeky now, but within these boxes you might want, for instance, something like a pull quote. So you might lead into the activity, you might want a quote, so this is going to therefore use the pull quote thing. So I, the reason I show you this is that you might choose to nest some of these items within each other if that suits the learning design. Again, detach my original and I can put a quote in here as you've seen me do in the previous recording. So that's all fine. Now because this is a video sequence I guess I should also embed a video. What I'm showing you now is not anything of course specific to my uh, template but just a standard feature of Dreamweaver. In fact I might put the video here I suspect. So I want to embed a video. Um, what I'm going to do first is to go to my browser and get the embed code for the video I want. So I've already loaded that up. Go to share, scroll down, choose the embed option and copy the code there and then I can return to Dreamweaver. Now the reason I'm showing you this is that if you've not met it there's a slightly quick way of embedding um, code. There's a sneaky little feature of Dreamweaver which is somewhat hidden for me. I'm just going to resize my Dreamweaver window to even show it to you. It's this little button here. If you've never met it before it's called the Quick Tag Editor. It allows you to quickly embed HTML code so you don't have to go digging around in the code. So you can click onto that clear out whatever might be there and paste in now that embed code that you'd previously copied from in my case YouTube. So that's placed that on the page so that when I now go in my browser and I'll just quickly refresh this I now have my video activity watch and do I've got the embedded YouTube video I've got my citation etc. So you can see those combinations of uh, features can be quite handy.